Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and we're gonna look at a really simple, quick-ish sequence for opening up the whole back of your body. And for most of what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the double ball. So this is a tennis ball that's wrapped with athletic tape, two tennis balls, but then I also have some samples of other great double balls that um, you can also get. All right, so where I wanna start first here is the cervical spine. So the top of the cervical spine where the skull meets the neck. So when I lie down, I'm putting the balls on a, a small yoga block so I can hit that occiput where the, the skull and the neck meet. And I can flex my neck and extend my neck to get some really good opening and massage in this area. I can also rock my head a little bit side to side, letting go of my jaw, softening my cheeks, and we're just going to spend just a little bit of time at each point. And this could be in a class where, you know, you're just, you haven't started the, the um, Pilates work yet, but you want to open the back body and just kind of visit each point very quickly. So we did the, the cervical spine, and then we're going to go to the upper traps. Now, upper traps, right kind of below C7. The double balls are there. You can always put a yoga block underneath the pelvis if you need that, or just have your client lift the behind up. So here they can do a little roll up and down. They can also go side to side. This is a really important area to open the, the, these um, upper T vertebrae, the upper T spine and then release down and get rid of the yoga block. And then you don't have to get up each time. I'm kind of getting up so I can talk to you. But what you can do from that upper T-spine is just roll the ball down your body, crown of the head goes up. And so now we're at um, sort of the mid to lower shoulder blades. And then I can hold this pinpoint of pressure and just do a little back bending and a little bit of curling, keeping my upper traps nice and soft. I can also, on this area again, go side to side. And then I can roll the ball down. This is the beauty of these double balls and how you're able to literally just iron down the back of the body. So here, whoo, I can stop at the bra strap. Right, so right at that mid back, I'm below the tips of the shoulder blades. Again, I can extend and flex and even rock side to side. I can go down a bit more and this can be a really tender area for a lot of us. So I'm at the very bottom of the rib cage at T12 and here, ooh, this is a big one. I can go back and I can come up. I can even hold on to my legs and just breathe into the balls underneath me. Good, and at this point, I wanna take the balls out, right? Because I don't really wanna roll um, with these double balls on my uh, kidney space. So I've opened cervical spine, upper traps between the shoulder blades at my mid back at the bottom of the rib cage. And so now I'm gonna take, you could still do the double balls under your pelvis, or if you have some softer balls, like these Franklin balls, you can just set them under the pelvis. And this is just going to kind of finish <laughs> the length of the spine, right? So we started at the top of the spine and now here we are at the bottom. And so the Franklin balls, they're not connected. So I'm gonna rotate my pelvis side to side and just really feel like I'm cradling, cradling my lower back down into the floor, cradling my sacrum down into the floor, and just doing like a, a little kneading action of the halves of my pelvis and my legs. And then after you've gone all the way down, take it out and then have a moment maybe of constructive rest. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.